this leads us to the slippery edge of prophecy. You see, I think the world is going to get just to the fact that we are actually caught in a whirlpool in time that is sucking us into another dimension. A notion like that could get fairly alarming and spread a lot of panic. As long as the wave keeps working, nobody should freak out. Just settle in, hang on, and we'll navigate through this. Because these crazy religions want to tell you that you're going to be judged and damned and fired and roasted. No, no, that's not it. They got the story wrong. We're just being sucked into hyperspace. And hyperspace is the human imagination, the human heart the human soul. It's the domain of our dreams. Our imagination is a flickering image of what it will be. But what it really will be uh, is the despair of prose. What it will really be can only be approached in silent darkness on five grams. And then you can't tell anybody about it. It's an experience which is not only rare, Formative, challenging, but also illusion. It's a very peculiar situation. Very few experiences are illusion. And our uh, models of the world are built up based on our experience. So if you make an experience illusion, you're essentially saying it is off limits for model building. You can't include that in your model because it isn't really there in some sense. And, and this is the situation in Western society vis-a-vis -vis the psychedelic experience.